that is just such a feel good movie. Yeah. And I'm actually sitting here with fucking Matt, as you can see. Yep. And you did not only play yesterday, but you also casted just now the series between Navi and Fnatic. What did you think about the series? Um, I'm a bit disappointed. I mean, I wanted Fnatic to do better. I don't think they played at their actual level. Mm -hmm. uh, Navi, bo Navi bounced back pretty well from like from yesterday, but to be honest, like based on what we had to face yesterday, they were pretty strong. Like they were, we felt like they were in good shape yesterday, even though they lost. Yeah. Like it's standard for people to say they lost or they were in bad shape. They weren't. Uh, not in my opinion, and they proved it today. So looking forward to see what they can achieve next. Hopefully not against us <laughs> if we don't draw. <laughs> uh, I'm a bit disappointed for Fnatic. It's a team I really like and. Uh, well, not this time. Maybe be better. Like yeah. do better next time. What do you think the problem was? The, the execution just wasn't there. Uh, to be honest, the second second game was an out pick yeah. in favor of Fnatic, in my opinion. Yeah, I I, yeah. I have to agree. The Pugna pick was just brilliant. I think Navi was wasn't like didn't see that coming. Honestly, Fnatic could stomp that game easily. They just the execution just wasn't there. There were some good moves. Some like overall the like the idea was here yeah. in both games compared to yesterday, where really the drafts were really sloppy and. I don't think they had a game plan. They came today more prepared. I could see that, but the execution, I don't know. Um, just maybe a bad day. It happens. I, I have to say, I, for the first game, I thought that Fnatic had the stronger draft as yeah, well. I think so as well. Depending on how the early game went, but you, you know, it went well for, yeah, uh, for, Navi. for Navi, of yeah. course. But I, I think, like, what do you think about the Darkseer pick? I don't in know. The first game? It could have worked, but not in that way. I mean, the Midas first, like the Midas minute 20 or something. I don't know. Not Maybe not 20, but. This Midas and that late, I don't think it was a good idea from Trixie. They needed the mech. Obviously, they had the better uh, l late game and the better fighting lineup, especially yeah. because they had Rush to for them, for the Dire. But the fact that he goes Midas and not mech didn't allow them to have a chance in the fights. That's how I saw it, at least. And I don't know. I just I like the Dark Street pick, but not the way they played it. Okay, because of course, I mean, there were a lot of other offlaners still in the pool, yeah. like even Timber Timbersaw. Was there, yeah, I, yeah. I, I predicted the Timbersaw pick, actually, but didn't happen. Yeah, w w I was expecting it as well, yeah. and I uh, was uh, talking with Cyborg Matt that I might have changed the outcome Would have been of better, the game. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. I, I, like, honestly, Darcy DK is really, really scary. It's really yeah. strong. Darcy would, would give them also the ability to outpush the lanes without committing, like, some space. At, if they're, they're dire and the whole pick was designed to get Rush, yeah. uh, and Darcy is l one of the best heroes to fight that Rush, so Darcy was okay, in my opinion. It's just the way they played it, I, I don't think it was okay. Well, we're not going to see them anymore this nah, tournament. It's sad, but it's how it goes. I they mean. they did, however, they broke that curse. Oh, oh yeah, they're not second. They're not I second. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> they wanted to break it that way. No. But whatever. <laughs> At least it's broken now. Next time, first place. For yes, sure. I mean, yeah. now, now the curse is broken and they can move forward. Yeah, hopefully. That's, hopefully that's, that's for that's them. That's how it works. Step step, one step back. Yeah. Hopefully for them. Forward. I really hope so. They, they deserve to win some tournament. Like yeah. I, they're a great team. And they've been so strong as well. Like. Yeah. I've yeah. been so impressed by them at EMS, especially. I didn't really follow the Vegas tournament, but EMS was really impressive. And I, I, I still have this feeling that they missed something there. And honestly, in this title, they didn't look really strong. Uh, let's be honest, uh, the, the, the execution just wasn't there. But you know the potential of this team, so it's obviously a bad day or bad two days. So really looking forward to how they're going to do, like how they can bounce back from this. Yeah. yeah. And of course, I mean, I mean, you've cast it and you're going to play. Yeah. Uh, soon. Is it something that, of course, you can't spend time to prepare or get in the zone because you're casting? Is it something that actually helps you prepare in a way, or is it doesn't just matter? a way to chill? No, no, it's fine. I mean, I would have uh, watched the games no matter what because yeah. although we're in the winner bracket, we consider the loser bracket teams uh, as much as we consider the, the the winning ones because we don't like we don't go like we're gonna stomp lands and go through, you know. So it's really important to us to see any kind of team, even like yesterday, to we need to have the best knowledge we can about all the teams yeah. and not the knowledge before before the tournament you don't really have to prepare you have to prepare for your team and then like inside the tournament the meta game changes and everything so we need yeah. to know what's happening what's not i mean the rest of stuff in dire now we see insta rest epic in dire it happened only here so this is really important so casting the games is a way to watch them it's fine and do you think like the the rest epic like for navi in the second game was that something that like was a big factor in helping them win or was it just everything because they were kind of playing Fnatic yeah. at, at the second game, especially. I, I felt. No, yeah. I don't think Rasta especially had them to win. Yeah, was a good pick. I mean, you you want to have disables against uh, Nakes and stuff like this. They wanted to push, so Rasta wars were fine. 
like the way I saw it, I, I don't know if Poppy meant it, but they played for the second time against the Viper Rasta combo, like the Aghanim Viper that you can't get close, and the wards are just like killing, like destroying all your buildings. So I don't f for Fnatic, it must have been you know a deja vu, but a pretty bad one because they lost to Alliance yesterday with the same kind of lineups. So I don't know if Poppy meant that, but it did the same effect to them, and mentally it must be kind of hard to face it, like to face it again and. Like once again, you're just def trying to defend your base, and everything is just you know falling apart. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I like you mentioned the Pugna pick. I mean, yeah. they they did learn from yesterday. That like was awesome. Pugna was a, was a great pick was against the that. Best pick they could get. No. It just uh, it wasn't enough, unfortunately. No. Uh, when they picked Pugna, I was I, w I was really worried for Navi. Really worried for Navi. But it didn't work out. They did too many mistakes. The execution, like too many, too much feed, too many mistakes, didn't work out. It could have really. I was really expecting them to crush that game. I was actually at least hoping for a third game. Yeah, me too. So far, all games, of course, have been 2 0s. Mm. Now you're going to play against Alliance. Yeah. And of course, you're hoping that's going to be a 2 0 for sure, you. Of course. <laughs> I'm hoping for three games. But how did you prepare for that match? Or did, like, did you do anything special? No, or we didn't prepare for that match. We just, uh, we were very, like, happy yesterday. Like, uh, I mean, satisfied to, to win Navi. Yeah. Navi was the biggest challenge for us this tournament. At least we maybe maybe we won't. Maybe we're going to get crushed by Alliance. And in the end, we, we would realize it wasn't. But at least for me, Navi is always special. I respect those players so much. I respect all players, of course. But I mean, this team especially, we've been facing them for like two or three years. I remember myself like facing them in Dreamhack with MTW. You know, it was already two years ago and it was the same feeling. Like they can play anything. They're very strong, etc. So we didn't really prepare for Alliance. We respect it's uh, one of the best team in the world, of yeah. course, in the world, of course. Uh, let's say that we made sure we kept our our motivation, our rhythm, our communication high. It's we're confident that if we're in a good mood and in a good atmosphere, we can win anyone. Really, we proved it at MLG. We proved it in many yeah. tournaments. We proved it. We're gonna prove it here again. So just ma make sure that we're in a good con good condition for this match. Of course, we thought a bit about the draft, me and Fala especially. Uh, we're ready to go into this match. We're just waiting that it starts right now. I'm actually uh, kind of curious because yesterday, during the press conference, at some point Fada said like, because I, I asked a question like, which heroes do you think are overrated or underrated? Yeah. And he had a hero in mind that he did not want to say because yeah. you wanted to use it. Which one was it? No, I'm not going to say it. We, 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 okay. we, might, we might see it later. Is it picked? I don't know. Damn. I have no... I, I actually, I actually, you know what? I don't even know what hero he talks about. I'm, I'm going to go like this. I don't know what he, I don't know what he said. He had a hero in mind. He's gonna keep it secret. Damn. Nah, we That's a shame. Like, it's gonna appear at some point. Yeah. Uh, if we get the chance, if it fits, whatever. Uh, obviously, yesterday we didn't have to. We didn't have to, so I it's fine. Um, no, no, no. We like the draft versus alliance. The way we see it, at least, it's a bit more easier than against Navi, because uh, honestly, Puppy. Yes, the draft yesterday versus Puppy was a nightmare. Uh, honestly, like I don't want to go through it again, but he basically banned every single hero we wanted and picked like let's say half of their lineup it's hero we actually wanted in both games but it's but you still got Bane Mirana yeah sure w yeah we got it but we don't really rely on Bane Mirana I mean if they give it to us why not and honestly we didn't pick Bane thinking we we're gonna get Mirana at all we don't care about this combo it's a really strong one so if b both heroes fits they end up being in the same lane of course because it's a great lane to have like Fanny couldn't get anything of course but uh, no, no, we don't. I mean, Mirana was a really strong pick against what they had, in our opinion. So that's why we got it. It's the only reason. I mean, if we don't get Mirana, Ben Mirana, fair enough. We can play basically anything. We don't care really. It's it's a, it's good heroes for us, of course. But okay, so you find Alliance easier to draft against? Yeah, ve like very, like way more easier than Navi. <laughs> that's for sure. Not they're not easy to draft against. They're easier than Navi. Okay. At least for us. And have you like? Because of course, Loda is now drafting. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I mean, I, I saw the both drafts of Alliance yesterday, and I was really like, I wish I could be Fnatic and be drafting right now. Yeah, okay. So that uh, that's just the feeling we had. I mean, again, it's just a feeling. We might go there and get completely outpicked and, you know, just be like, okay, whatever. We really, like, we were wrong. But, like, Alliance, we know the heroes they favor. We know how they lane, pretty much. Against Navi, you can't expect to whisk Bristol back off lane. You know, that's, like, coming out of, of nowhere, and you have to adapt. Against Alliance, it's a bit different. They had their game plan. Their execution is better, so we need to be careful. We're not going to get the openings we got against Navi. But, well, I mean, it's still okay. You know, uh, drafting-wise, at, at least it's easier than Navi. That's for sure. And do you think, like, of course, because Alliance hasn't been doing that well lately, or at yeah. least in the last couple of weeks, of course, Wednesday, they were like they were looking good against uh, Speed yeah. in the best of five. But do you think that, that what you mentioned, them being maybe slightly 
predictable, or at least like everybody knows how they play when their play style is. Do you think that's the reason why they have been struggling? It it hurts. People them. have figured them out. I wouldn't say so. At one point, it hurts. It's gonna lose them one game, two games, but not the the whole losing streak. Like at TI, everybody know, everybody knew what they were up yeah. to. Every game, you could like predict mm. they're gonna pick this, they're gonna ban this, they're gonna blame like this, and they crush everyone twenty zero. So they proved that it doesn't matter at all because they cr and everyone came super prepared. It's TI. So I don't think that's an argument. It's too easy to say, well, yeah, like when they win, they're strong, and when they lose, it's because you know people figure them out. I don't think it's that easy. It's just that they got really bad luck. I saw some g games of them at Vegas, for example, when they obviously played, in my opinion, better than the opposing team, but still lost. I think it's a lot about their a lot about their decision making. As I I know that Ake mentioned that in one of the interviews, it's really about, in my opinion, their decision making more than their draft. But you know, at some point, you need fresh. You know, you need a, a new in like a new impulsion, I don't know the word, whatever, and the change in captain, even if it doesn't really uh, imply big changes, it will bring some new momentum, and that's yeah. really what they need right now, for yeah. sure. Keeping it fresh, I should Yeah, mention. exactly. It's you just, like, the feeling that you start a new team, you know, it's a new team syndrome in Dota, when you build a team, the first two weeks is just awesome, you know, you're crushing everyone, and then you have this slump, and that's more or less what Alain has been going through, in my opinion. And uh, yesterday, when you played against Navi, mm. now of course we're, we're in Ukraine, we're in Kiev. Yeah. So it was ah. pretty clear that whenever Navi got a support kill, everybody went wild. <laughs> and yeah. when you got a team wipe, silent. Silent. I, I, like the the most like it was really shocking when we were leading like 11-1 or 13-1, yeah. yeah. and then suddenly they five man smoke on a prophet, like random <laughs> smoke. We were getting a tower for it, so completely worth it. And they killed the prophet, and then everybody goes crazy. You know, Navi. And of course, it's a bit. Um, I, it, it doesn't affect us at all. Okay, uh, we actually no, but it's fine. I mean, they're in. Kid. I mean, they're they're playing at, at home. If the if uh, it's completely, you know, it makes complete sense. And actually, the crowd here is very uh, fair play. You know, like when we won, they came to us and say, "Well, really, really nice game." Of course, they're cheering for Navi. It's their home. Like it's completely, it's okay. And but I really, really, at least I really like when there is kind of, you know, um, uh, how to say like. Like when people is like everybody's cheerful and sh it's very it's very important and it makes the game easier. Of course, it's confusing at one point when you get a team fight and suddenly they kill one guy and you're just crushing the team fight <laughs> and you hear Navi, so you're like, guys, are we are, are, like, are we losing the fight? Are we losing <laughs> the fight or what? So you have this second where you have this hesitation and it might cost you sometimes, you know, something. But um, like beside that, it's completely fine. It was actually fun. Okay, because uh, you're, you're going to face Alliance, and I personally, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't know. I who, who is going to be favored? Like I have no idea, actually. I Yeah, that's a good question. I have no I have no clue. Because I have to say, uh, you are the underdog this tournament, yeah, has sure. been said by a lot of people. So yeah. you, you've got, like, the, 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 the most Cinderella, Cinderella storyline. Yeah. I mean, it's in, you know, you're still top four, so, yeah, you sure. know. But, you know, like, uh, a few words about that. I accept that we are, like, we are the underdogs, fair enough. And to be completely honest, I'd rather be the underdog th than the favorite. I think it's way yeah. more comfortable to Less play. pressure. Yeah, of <laughs> course. I, it's really, like, we have been favorite at some points. Not with this team, but, like, me and Sox with some teams. And it's really not, like, better be the underdogs, unknown, whatever. It's really better. But the way we see it, like, when you think about it, besides uh, EMS, where we had internal problems, but that's, I don't want to, like, go back to that. We basically did well in all the tournaments we attended. We weren't invited in some because of sponsors' issue, like not our sponsor because of just tournament inviting sponsors, but that that's their decision. Uh, but beside that, we attended MLG, D2CL, like uh, what was it, Pinnacle. We went top three in almost all the tournaments we attended. Yeah. And we're top three in that one as well. Uh, last rather season, we were top four, but we just couldn't uh, go there because of uh, an, uh, an injury. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, we are the underdog, fair enough. And let's hope we can get this position as... Uh, but it's just like w within the team, we don't feel that way at all. When we go into the tournament, we, we don't feel like this at all. You know, we're like, uh, well, that's a tournament we can grab very easily if we play our game. And it has always been like this. I don't know why it takes time for... And what's actually fun is uh, funny is that other teams do not um, approach us that way. You oh. know, we get to talk with other teams. And of course, it's actually not the... It's the general feeling for some reason. Fair enough. I, I don't know. It's I don't know much about it. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's because you d you had less of a presence in tournaments lately. Yeah, sure. Because that could be a big impact. I think I think I think it's I think it's the reason actually. It it, it has to be the reason. Yeah. Yeah, because as you said, you've ended uh, top top yeah. three, and I mean first place last Sunday. Yeah, sure. Against yeah. Rocks. In the p yeah, yeah. That was At that was a cool final. Yeah, that was a hard final. Sorry, one. guys. It's the best of five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a cool story as well. And yeah, a few words on that actually, because I saw people commenting on, uh, you know, that we we were whining or whatever. It wasn't really the case. Um, like, we were aware that it was a best of three, and when you si sign into that, not that you don't want to 
play a best of five, but uh, like personally, I wasn't at my place even. I, I was really in bad conditions to play. I was playing from a viewer's place that was really uh, shout out to FFman where that I, so I, since I had to move whatever. We had really bad condition and we weren't like um, concretely ready to play the best of five. You know, like uh, you have to have the mindset. Yeah, right? uh, the mindset was okay. We were ready to play, like of course, but it's like uh, I don't know. The, the place just closes in one hour. I can't play best of five. You know, that that was that was actually the actual problem. So in the end, we accepted. We had a choice, like I mean, so because it wasn't it wasn't our fault. It was the organization, yeah. uh, organizers' fault. Miscommunication. So yeah, yeah, sure. So we accepted, but you know, at one point we felt really tired. So we were like, maybe we can just postpone this one. You know, we're feeling really bad and etc. And then we had the choice, and they explained us that it was really troublesome for them. So both us and Roxy discussed, and we say, okay, whatever, just go for the last game now, etc. So it worked out. Yeah, it worked out pretty well, and it's important for a team to be able, you know, after two loss and you're tired, you're exhausted, you're a bit pissed. It's really important to be able to bounce back. That's what's going to make you a strong team. Yeah. It's not only, you know, momentum based. No, you uh, have wins. like the han honeymoon phase where everything's going well. Yeah. And you have to, like, dealing with uh, the losses yeah, exactly. and being able to do that as a team is, yeah. is probably one of the most important things. Of course, it's the, the most the important most. Yeah, because most. you have to, uh, I mean, winning games is okay, being strong is okay, but if you want to go far at TI, for example, or any big tournament like this one, you have to be able to bounce back when you got crushed, when you go to loser bracket. This is when you need to be a strong team. Yeah. This is when you prove to be a strong team. Else it's just, of course, you can be a strong team and win all the time, but it's going to go, like, at one point, it's going to go bad if you, if you just win, win, win. And uh, you have been uh, writing a lot of blogs. Yeah. Now, the last one actually was quite some time ago. Now, of yeah. course, there was the, there was the draft guide for mm. Join Dota, which mm. was started in Ju January, and there was then the last blog that you actually wrote was in November. Yeah, I didn't get, uh, I've been working uh, like on Sigma a lot and I didn't get, and there was the break and everything, so yeah. I didn't get time to, to blog again. It will start pretty soon. What's the next uh, topic? Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't decide the next topic yet. I think I want to keep on like the drafting topic. Okay. There is a lot to say about it, especially there's been a lot of changes in the metagame and everything, so there is a lot to say about it. I think it's going to be around drafting for sure. Yeah. Okay, looking forward to it already. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to have a game against Alliance yeah. now, of course you want to have 2-0. Is there anything that, that we should watch out for? Like, like mm. what kind of um, momentum are you going to look to ho like hope to get? Like, is it early game dominance or just stable or the what kind of, what kind of, the way I see if it, you want to give uh, something away about that? Well, <laughs> we're really good at snowboarding, okay. that's for sure. Uh, it's something, if you're going to give us the advantage in early game, we're not going to let you come back. That we're going to like oh. pressure you so much that you can't actually do anything. And but the problem with teams like Alliance is that they they pretty much lock down everything. You, you you don't find openings, you know. They have their game plan. They ha they're gonna go for their late game farm or whatever. They can play anything, of course. But that's their favorite playstyle. I'm not saying they can only play late game. So they might bait you into forcing stuff, and then you might end up it might end up being a, a disaster. So that's the only thing we should watch for, watch out for. Sorry. Uh, Besides that, I think it's gonna. Like it's gonna come down to the draft, in my opinion. The draft will be very, very important. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The deciding factor. For yeah, you? I think so. Definitely. If 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 we get a good draft, I think we we can take it uh, without much problem. That's the way I see it. You know, if we really be if we are able to outdraft them, it's gonna be hard for them. That's the way I see it. If we don't, it's gonna be hard for us. I don't know. I'm looking forward for those games. I want to see how uh, how you know how good their shape is right yeah. now. They looked pretty strong yesterday, but in my opinion, Fnatic was also playing. Uh, I mean, like Navi just pretty much crushed Fnatic in two games, and we had a quite a good time against Navi yesterday. So I can't really judge on the best of three Alliance versus Fnatic yesterday. I want to see them today. Yeah. By the way, you mentioned. Uh, I mean, just jumping back again. Yeah, sure. You mentioned yesterday during the press conference as well that you found Slark an overrated hero. Yeah, he is. Well, you have own like yesterday. Fnatic played Slark, Slark twice, yeah. lost, and then he got picked up in both of the games yesterday, and he got banned and picked today as sure. well. He, yeah, I know. We we actually picked it, right? I yeah, mean, yeah. Of course, <laughs> he, he's overrated, but. You know, th there's a reason why he's overrated. He's really strong, but yeah. he's not a first pick. You know, like. I, there was a phase after he got um, put into the CM mode where it was first pick Slark. Yeah. And offlane Slark, safely anywhere Slark. Like, you, you gotta think a bit about why you get Slark and what you wanna do with it because he's a snowboard hero. So if you get that against space, like exactly what happened with Fnatic yesterday, you get a Slark, you put him safe lane, and he gets nothing. He's against an X plus one. He has no farm, he has no levels, and then he's just useless. He does nothing. Uh, we used Slark solo mid, we gave him really good levels, we gave him space. So of course it snowballs. I mean, this hero passively snowballs because 
whenever he's missing on the map, then the supports are sca are scared. Then yeah. the, you can unward everything. This is huge. This is why I love Slag the most. It's it's the ability to spot wards in competitive Dota, that's the most important thing. And it fits with your play style. If you say, yeah. like, we, we profit most from snowballing. It's perfect. Like, it's perfect. Yeah. But uh, again, yesterday, uh, the, the best of three versus Navi was really, really, uh, in my opinion, clever and solid draft from both parts. Because when they got Slark, we went for a f very heavy pushing lineup. Yeah. This, this is what counters Slark. And when we got Slark, they did the same. Or tried to do the same. So, I mean... A lot of info has been given about how to deal with Slark and how to run Slark. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's gonna be picked in, in our series against Alliance. I don't think. I don't think it will. Or of course, if there's an opening, we're gonna pick it for yeah. sure. But I don't think. Um, I don't think there will be an opening. It's gonna be a very different playstyle in this series. Are you expecting like? Because you mentioned Alliance favors late game, and I think we saw it last Wednesday when, the, like, in the first game they played against Speed. Like, Speed yeah, was doing Naga. really well in the early game, and then you've got Naga, and oh, I believe there was a Coddle and an Earthshaker. At least yeah. it was very turtleish. Yeah. And it's th it's not the most fun game to watch. Mm, no, it's not. So, so what are you expecting for the series? Are we going to have a lot of kills, or is it going to be like, okay, we have to wait until Alliance thinks it's safe to leave their half of the map? No, against us, it's not going to happen because we're not <laughs> going to. No, we're not going to let them do that. I mean, I saw the game against Speed. In my opinion, they got that uh, farm, then they were able to split push that way because Speed just didn't end the game. Yeah. And we're a team. If we're going to see one slight opening to end the game, we're going to go for it. So no Naga 25, 30 minutes farm, that's not going to happen, for sure. Okay. Either we go th we go like try to force the base and get crushed and lose the game, so the game is over. Either we go and break the base and the game is over as well, so no, no worries, no 70 okay. minutes game. Well, I think that, that you made a lot of people uh, really yeah, happy. Not, it's yeah, not going to no. happen, it's not going to happen. Okay. Worst case, we go f best case, we go for a best of like, uh, like you know, 2-1 or some yeah. 2 one and then everybody's happy, we're not, but whatever. But uh, yeah, I don't think that we're going to see very late, late game oriented games, I don't think okay, so. Okay, well, I have, a, I have a message from Bulldog to you, by the way. No. He said you're going to lose. Sure. But, you know. If he thinks so, well, I... <laughs> he has to think so, right? Because if he would say, like, you're going to win, that's kind of... I'm going to make sure we don't lose because <laughs> of him, then. That's what I'm going to answer. Because I'm going to face him on the lane, right? Yeah. Do, do so. you have a message for him later on? No. I hope... Uh, I don't I want to go into the... I, uh, okay, I'm just going to, you know, like, take him. He tweeted that. So I hope... I'm looking forward to see what he or he practiced. But yeah. yeah. Uh, we've seen a lot, uh, a lot of ting one. timber saws, uh, yeah, vipers. Viper. Yeah, he can get viper. It's fine. Yeah. So what are you gonna do in between now and the game still? Uh, I'm just gonna chill, get maybe one matchmaking with my teammates or a something. Warm up. Yeah. And then we're gonna take some time before the game. Go as five somewhere. Just discuss. You know, this like in land we did so many lands and not with this team, but especially social and me. And in land the most important is the the atmosphere. That the atmosphere, the the mood. This is, it makes everything. So that's what we're going to focus on. That's what we focused on yesterday. Worked yeah. out pretty, really well. The in-game part is okay. I mean, we wouldn't be here if we weren't good enough to be here. We, yeah. know our, we know our stuff. We know how to play. We know how to adapt. This is fine. Just make sure we play our game. And if we do, the grand finals, for okay. sure. Well, I am looking forward to the games. And I'm going to let you go sure. so you can indeed uh, prepare for the match. I'll be back later with uh, someone else, probably, hopefully, from Alliance, if they are willing to uh, discuss a bit about the game as well. And uh, thank you for joining me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank, thank you. you.